I don't know if you're following what I'm saying. It's a build up. Now when you hear something like, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs under it and they are saved. You're thinking it's just one thing. No, the name of the Lord is a build up of revelation of who he is. A revelation of who he is. The build up of the revelation of who he is. And so, for there to be that, you know, uh, 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 for us to break into a particular dimension that is wanting to give to us, there has to, he has to bless us with hunger. I don't know whether you understand me. He has to bless us with hunger. That hunger has to be commensurate to what he wants to give to us. Now, the Lord does not waste food. How many of us understand that? The Lord does not do what? I'm not hearing you. The Lord does not do what? Now, if you're not hungry, he won't bring it. That's why he has to, first of all, bless you with hunger, and then you desire and you thirst, and then he will now bless you with that revelation. So, he is calling for a greater dimension of hunger, which he will also give to us. Because you can hunger for righteousness, except he blesses you with hunger. Did you get that? You can't just, ordinarily man does not hunger for righteousness. Because of sin. Sin has created desires. Created junctions of satisfaction. So there is just something, not only your flesh, even your soul. There are things your soul craves for. Naturally. Amen. There are things your soul craves for. But for your soul to begin to crave for righteousness. You know what it means? Righteousness is something that is not seen. Is alien to our world. For your soul to begin to desire things that are not seen. People will even tell you. I'm, I'm talking about not just people. I'm talking about believers. Believers will tell you your own is too much. What are you looking for? Amen. I remember one time, sorry, we are, we are starting Sunday school. You may be seated. Just to exalt us because of the hunger, I want us to lock into that dimension of hunger. I want every heart to begin to cry out until we are baptized. The whole assembly is baptized with hunger for glory, for glory realm. Amen. Like I said, it's, not, it's alien. Hunger for the things of God is alien. Is alien. Now, you, you know you can be hungry. You know, when you gave your life to Christ, you were, what do you call it? You had this zest. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about hunger for righteousness. You can have zest, but you don't have hunger for righteousness. I remember my little uh, niece. Um, she's, she's married now. She's no more little. When she stayed with me, and then got to hear God's word and you know, there was a build-up and she came into such a hunger and desire. The parents in the church where they worship, we are deacons and deaconess. And then I remember she, when she finished, you know, her stay with me and went home. And then they were having, uh, end, you know, that, that at the first night, they gathered together as a family to pray. I think that at the first night or, or first. And every one of them was supposed to bring out what you want God to do for you, you know, in the new year. So my, my in-law, that's the dad, now asked every one of them, everybody said what you wanted God to do. So they asked her, she said she wants God. And the dad was like, okay, and then, do you, do you, get, do you catch the joke? Because you said you want God. Really, the average Christian doesn't see God as something to gain. He doesn't see God as something to get. To get. For, for somebody, he feels you already have God. As long as you're born again, you're filled with the Holy Ghost, you're heaven bound, you have God. No, you don't. You don't. You don't. They just apprehended you to come and apprehend something, come and inherit something. So when she said, I want this year, I want God. I know she spoke out of hunger, but the dad, being a deacon, you know, didn't 
quite understand what she was. And now said, okay, and, and what again? Meaning, God is not enough. For a soul to desire that this year I want God. I don't know whether you understand me. That what, what are you looking for this year? What is your request from God this year? I want God. It doesn't make any sense. But truly, God is worth seeking for. And can I tell you something? In your quest for God, amen. He said, you, you will seek me only and find me when you seek me with all your heart. So if you seek me with another thing inclusive, you will not find me. If you seek me with any other desire, so the desire, the hunger for God. Can you say the hunger for God? The hunger for God and his things. When I mean his things, what he is, is a sanctified hunger. Is a hunger that does not mix up with any other thing. That's the truth of the matter. It's a hunger that you can't have hunger for God. Every other thing, every other thing will fade away. Every other thing that may have had way, that may have had meaning, you just begin to see that thing fading away. It doesn't stand anymore because you just want God. Uh, if you know the way it is in my heart, I, I wish uh, every one of us would be baptized with that consciousness and that desire that you earnestly, ardently, you want God at all costs. You want to get God. I tell you, if we are like that, this place will be... I, I love that place that uh, Akogu, uh, Pastor A.K. used to pray. Can, can you give it to us? That's uh, uh, Luke chapter 12, verse 29. He said, I'm come to send fire on the earth. Now, this fire is actually fire of him. Hunger. You know, hunger is a fire. Amen. Hunger is a fire. It's a burning desire. Some, some of us don't have desire for God. Some of us are just barely going through motions of, you know, of activities. No, I want us to be caught up with the fire of hunger. Let our hunger be fiery. Let, let the desire be so strong. And the Lord said, and what will I if it be already kindled? Let it be already kindled amongst us. That's our desire. Lord, kindle your fire amongst us. Let it burn. Let our hunger overtake us. Let, we want everybody to be drunk with God. Drunk with desire for God. Now, I know one thing. You can hunger and test for righteousness and you'll not be filled. God will fill you. God will fill you. So, and what is he going to fill us with? He's going to fill us with that dimension of him that we are hungry and thirsty for. So, I want to I pray. I want to ask you that this week, don't, don't spend time praying for so many things. Pray for hunger. That the whole assembly, you as a person, the whole assembly will be baptized with hunger. We are about to get into another realm and I want I, I don't want any other person, I don't want any person in this local assembly to be left out. So let's cry out for hunger. Amen. And God will grant us in Jesus name.